All right, we're just going to jump right into this one. I'm going to take you guys with me today on a little bit of Facebook prospecting inside of small business Facebook groups. This is my favorite place to find leads. So I'm going to show you what to look for, how to find the right prospects, how to find high quality prospects and what information to take down. So let's just jump right in here. Usually I like to join groups. I'll type in the location and then small business or local business groups. Those are my favorite types of groups to look into. You could also go into like niche groups like a plumber Facebook group or an HVAC Facebook group. I like the small business ones. There's a, a wide variety of businesses in here. And then I'll kind of just go one by one and look through these groups so we can start scrolling through here and looking for service based businesses. Now you can see here, this one's a restaurant. I personally don't go for restaurants too much. If that's your thing, you can go for restaurants. I personally don't. I think for restaurants, it's a little bit better to go in person just due to the nature of how the restaurants work. I've tried to cold call a few of them. It doesn't usually work out the best, but that's totally up to you. You can definitely go for restaurants. OK, so this business here is pretty good. We have humanity acupuncture. So what you want to look for is names. Name, first name at the very least is one of the things that I look out for the most, because when you do go to cold call these businesses and you're able to actually use the business owner's first name, you're going to have a lot better success that way. It's going to increase your success rate significantly. So. You can see here, this looks like a testimonial post and you can see the business owner's name is most likely Steven. So we have a phone number and we have the name Steven. So you want to put right down the phone number. You want to write down the name Steven. If you can find the email too, I personally don't do too much email marketing, but if that's your thing, you can do, you can write down the email as well. The next thing I like to do is take a quick look, like a minute or two look at their Facebook page. So you can see here. It's kind of just some more posts. Sometimes when the name isn't listed, I like to look here for the name as well. But here we have the name already um, and kind of just take a quick look. Sometimes their websites on here as well. Uh, let's see if we could take a look for their website. Not here. OK, Humanity Acupuncture. So I'll take a quick a quick look at their at their website and just see what we can do here. So OK, so here's their website. It looks pretty good. So the things I like to look for on the website is if they have an automatic booking link, if they have an automatic texting contact form, if they have a live chat widget. So you can see here, OK, they do have a automatic booking link. Um, it looks pretty solid. So that's not something that they might be interested in because they already have one that seems to be working fine. Um, it doesn't seem like they have a contact form. They don't have a, a pop up form and they don't have a live chat widget. So those are some things you can kind of put in the notes for that prospect just in case it comes up later on the phone call. I wouldn't spend more than like five minutes per lead and then you can just jump back to the Facebook group and then keep scrolling. But always make sure to open in a new tab because if you click on this and then click the back button, it will bring you all the way back up to the top. So then you're going to have to keep scrolling down the entire group again just to get back to where you were. So we'll keep scrolling down the group here. Oh, we got another one. So we have this looks like a dog, a dog daycare uh, type place. I don't see any names anywhere. Let's see if we can find any information on their business. I don't actually see a name. I don't see a phone number, to be honest, either. So we can just skip this one. You can shoot them a message. I'd say it can't hurt to shoot them a message. To be honest, I would do that. Um, but if you can't find a number or an email, typically it's not really worth, you know, going, wasting a bunch of time looking for that stuff. So you can just shoot them a message on Facebook and then move on. OK, so right here, we just got another post. These are the perfect ones. You want to look for the name. A lot of these business owners will post from their personal Facebook account. That is exactly what you're looking for. Those are like the perfect types of leads because typically when you call these people, you're going to call them and you're going to get the actual business owner on the phone. So we know the guy's name is Fran. So we're going to write down the name Fran and we're going to see if maybe they have a phone number listed as well. Let's see once this page loads up. OK, they got a phone number right here. Now, this might not exactly be directly to the homeowner, but now we have the first name and we have the phone number. That's pretty much all we need. And then we got the website link here. Let's take a quick look. OK, their website looks pretty decent. They have online ordering, online catering. So that's pretty solid. But yeah, let's just write down the name and phone number and move on to the next one. OK, I just came across this guy, Richard. Side note, this isn't a business, but this guy's talking about these uh, networking groups, the BNI networking groups. They meet virtually every Tuesday morning from 7 to 8.30 a.m. 
If you can get into any of these in your local area, these are like honestly the perfect places to find business owners. You go network, sometimes they have in-person meetings. Look at all the different types of businesses that go to these meetings. These are the perfect ideal clients. So if you ever can find these groups, do a Google search, look for these networking BNI groups in your area. These are gold mines for finding clients, literally gold mines. Okay, this is another really, really good lead. I'm not sure how to pronounce this guy's name. You got his phone number right here. He does uh, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly lawn care, so some sort of landscaping job, fall cleanup. You can take down his business name, his name, the phone number, and then just write a couple notes on what he does, fall cleanup, junk removal, stuff like that. These are perfect. If I call this phone number, most likely that's going to be this business owner, the guy who just made this post, so you can directly get to those business owners. And typically, that's one of the reason I love Facebook. You're going to probably 50% of the time, maybe not 50%, maybe 30, 40%, get right past the gatekeeper straight to the business owner's cell phone a lot of the times. Another really good one, we have Roberto. He does power washing. So you can see it's RK power washing. Roberto's right here. His name's right here. This is why, this is why I'm telling you the Facebook groups are the one of the best places to find these leads because you get the first names. You do not get this stuff on Google. So this guy posted a couple pictures of his power washing. You got the phone number right there. Let's take a look at his profile really quick. Open link in new tab. Okay, let's see, does he have a website? And this is another good way. If they don't have their website listed on the Facebook, they probably don't have a website. This guy does, but that's just another thing you can take down into the notes. This guy didn't have a website, so you can bring that up on the phone call if you wanted to. It looks like this guy's website actually is down um yeah okay so we can put that in the notes his website wasn't working that's something you can bring up on the call for sure so let's go back here so i just found two really good posts in a row here this is a nice little friendly message this woman jacqueline is a travel advisor so it do she doesn't seem to have her phone number listed anywhere i just checked out her uh her facebook page here she doesn't have the phone number there for these people you can definitely just shoot them a message on facebook you don't necessarily always need to find the phone numbers if you can't find them always just shoot a message on facebook even if you do find the phone numbers it can't hurt to just shoot these messages out and just try to connect with these people anyway because you never know just starting these conversations can end up turning into uh getting them as a client and then right below this one we have elena um she does massages it looks like she's got her phone number right here she's got her name right here like these are perfect leads so we're going to take down her name that she's a massage therapist and her phone number and we can also again just shoot her a quick message on facebook hey guys this is steve the dog poop guy listen if you got a dog if you got a couple of dogs if you got a few dogs let me clean your yard it's 20 dollars per pickup that's it no contract no nothing if you don't like me, you never have to use me again. When I'm done with your yard, you should be able to roll around in it if you choose to. Anyway, you got nothing to lose except for $20. And if you don't like me, you never have to use me again. But please, please give me a shot. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Thank you. So that video you just watched, that's kind of rare when you see these business owners getting in front of the camera and posting a little piece of short form content inside these Facebook groups. So that's something you can use as a point of connection. When you reach out to these business owners, you can compliment them, say that, you know, you really liked the video, you thought it was a really good marketing strategy for their business and use that to build a relationship. Little things like that you find and use in the cold call, that's also stuff that's going to increase your success rate significantly. So, and on top of that, business owners that are willing to get in front of the camera and post short form content and that the fact that they're aware that short form content right now is the wave that's what's working shows that they kind of know what they're doing they're smart and they're most likely a good client to actually work with when you do end up picking them up all right we have another really good one here we have knc pool service you got the guy's name kevin you got his phone number i guess his wife made this nice little post these are the types of posts you find in these Facebook groups. And you're also going to find just regular business names like the one under it. This is kick and chicken. You're going to find ones like these two. It's OK to write these down too. write this phone number down. You don't always need to find the names, but that's the great thing about these Facebook groups. You're going to find a lot more of these first names like this is probably Kevin's cell phone. 
very high likelihood chance that this is Kevin's cell phone. You're going to get right past the gatekeeper. That's one of the most annoying parts about cold calling is the gatekeeper. It's extremely hard to get past them. They always want to take down your information. And 99% of the time, they're not actually taking down your information. They're telling you that just to get you off the phone. And you're never going to be able to get in contact with the business owner after that. So these groups are going to give you a much better chance at getting directly in touch with the business owner directly. That's pretty much all I do in these Facebook groups. I know it's a little bit tedious to go through, check out their Facebook profile, check out their website, but it's those little things that are going to help you at the end of the day, have a higher success rate when you're cold calling. So it's very much worth doing that. So you want to spend the time doing the prospecting because if you just scrape a list off Google, that's fine. That works, but your success rate is going to be significantly lower than if you called people inside these groups. Like I always say, this is a numbers game. So just stick with it. Stay consistent get the reps in and eventually you're going to start seeing some momentum. But like I said, that's pretty much it. I got an awesome cold calling video coming next week, so I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.